Hey guys, in this lesson we would understand how to determine the factored form of quadratic equation if we are given the graph of a parabola. Let's say we are given a graph of a parabola as follows and we are asked to write down the equation of this graph if we are given the vertex and the x-intercepts as 3, 4, 2, 0, 4, 0 respectively. So the first step for writing equation is to write on the general factored form of quadratic relation and that is y is equal to a x minus r x minus s. Second step is to write down the r and s values. So r we know here is 2 and s is 4. Therefore the equation is going to be y is equal to a x minus 2 x minus 4. Now whenever we are writing the equation we always have to fill in the constants and the constants would be r, s and a. r and s we have already figured out from the graph however a cannot be read from the graph so this has to be calculated in the same way as we calculated a in the previous lessons where we were writing the equation in vertex form from the graph or from the information given. So here if we want to solve for a we need to find out the value of x and y and that would be the third step. To get the value of x y we need to pick any point on the graph and this point vertex is given to us on the graph that is easily readable. So we would use this vertex point to sub in as x and y in the equation. y we have is 4 x we have is 3, 3 minus 2 we get is 1, 3 minus 4 is negative 1 and we solve for a. So 1 times 1 is negative 1a equal to 4. When we isolate for a, we take this negative 1 on the other side and divide it by 4. That would give us a negative 4. So this is the a value that we have got and now step number 4 is going to be just subbing in the constants. This is our equation. A we got is negative 4. R we have is 2. S we've got is 4. So this is the final factored form of quadratic equation that we would write down for the given graph. To summarize everything, if we need to determine the factored form of quadratic equation, then we always need to find or fill up three things, R, S, and A value. R and S would be the numbers or the x-intercepts that we can easily read from the graph as the graph or the parabola is going to meet the x-axis at these two points. Once we fill in the value of r and s, we would then find out another point on the graph that we can put in as x and y in the factored form of general equation so as to calculate the value of a in order to get the final answer.